Hi, this is Hina Imran from Learn and Explore 360. Hope you're doing great. My channel is all about learning and exploring just about anything, be it education, different activities, DIYs, food. I have categorized sections on my channel on English grammar, math lessons, DIYs, and food. Do check it out and let me know in the comment sections what you really like or what other things you want me to make the video on. Today's video is about how to make a non-editable PDF Word JPEG file into editable version and share it in Google Classroom. Uh, this will actually restrain your students into not moving any object or text from your worksheets. So let's digitize your hard work. All right. So this is the worksheet that I've made for my class uh, in MS Word and I need to convert it into a PDF file. So I'll just go to File, Save As. Okay, in my case, I'll go to Downloads and I'll click over here and I'll be looking for the PDF. PDF and Save. That's it. And I have a PDF file. Okay, now I need to convert this PDF into a JPEG or a PNG. So what I am going to do is, I just adjust it so that the whole worksheet is visible. And I can either go to a Microsoft Applications Snip and Sketch and I'll just do New and I'll just highlight it like this and it has snipped the picture. Now I need to save it. Save. Now, I have the option of a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF file. I will save it in a PNG file in the downloads. And that's it. We have a PNG file also. I'll show you. Here you go. All right. I personally don't use snip and sketch because sometimes the worksheet comes out a little bit blurry like if you look over here the pictures are not that easily accessible now i need to convert the, this pdf file into a jpeg or a png file so let's head over to the internet i'll just type pdf to jpeg I will open this option, add files, and convert now. Download. Uh, in my case, I will choose the download section and it's downloaded all right now we head to Google Slides you see these nine dots I will click over here and I will scroll down and slides are here so in our case I would like to take a blank sheet now I don't need the themes so I'll just click cross I don't need these boxes I will just press delete I will hover over here click and delete hover click delete all right so we have the new presentation ready but it's in landscape mode so 
in order to get it in portrait mode or in A4 size, we need to go to file. I'll go to page setup, custom, and we need 8.5. Sorry, I need to change this. All right. 8.5 by 11. Apply. So now we have the portrait mode in A4 size and we need to put the picture we had converted, the worksheet we had converted into JPEG and I'll be putting it as a background. So I need to go to background, choose an image, browse and I'll be taking this JPEG, open. And we're all set. We have the worksheet on top of the slide. Now, to be easily able to see it, I will go to view, zoom, 100. Okay. Now, when I'm moving my cursor and uh, clicking it, I'm unable to move anything from the worksheet. This is what we are targeting for because when we are giving it to the students, especially if they are smaller students, uh, there may be accidents where they might be able to change the boxes or the text boxes, uh, you know, and uh, make a mess. So we need to lock it for them. So now we need to put text boxes and for that I will go text box and I'll just drag and fix it here so the children can write their names I can change font uh, whichever font I like however big or small I like and instead of choosing text box again and again the easier way is clicking on the side of the text box and right click copy and now right click again and paste so I have the same text box over here also and I don't need to change the font or the size and I'm good to go now I need text boxes in all the blanks so that the children are able to write it so I'm um, instead of choosing text box again and again and the font size I'm just going to right click paste I have the same text box over here and I can just now resize it to however big I want the blanks and fix it over here And now again, I'm going to click on the side, right click, copy. And now I can just paste it in all the blanks. Right click, paste again. You get the picture, right? Yes. I'm going to do it with all the blanks. Right click and paste. All right, so now what's the best thing that has happened is now we have all the text boxes in their required areas and the students now can fill in their answers without moving or erasing, deleting anything from the worksheet. So um, now let's head on to assigning it in the Google Classroom. Oh, but first, we have to name our presentation. Uh, I will name it Phonics. Enter. Well, now, can you see the nine dots? Click over here. Go down. Classroom. This is just a dummy classroom that I have made. 
Now, in order to assign, we need to go to Classroom, Create, Assignments. Now, we can put the title Phonics Worksheet. And I can maybe give some instructions like fill in the blanks and then I need to go over here add from Google Drive and I have it over here in my recent you might be having it in your recent else you can just go to Google Drive and search for your files add so we have the assignment over here now you need to make a copy for each student so that every student gets their individual copy like a photocopy you give or distribute in your classrooms because if you're going to uh, click on view the file, nobody uh, can edit on it. And if you're going to give uh, the students the option of edit the file, uh, it's going to make an edit in the same file and you will not know who gave you what. So make a copy for each student is what we are going to do. On the right side, you can you know assign points or you can maybe assign due date. Let's give a due date. Um, Maybe it's on Monday, 1st June 2020. Time is optional. We can have a topic if you want to create it. I will just leave it. And then we are going to just assign it. There you go. Well, I hope you like the steps today into making the Word doc into a PDF and JPEG and turning it into something you can send it out to students into a digitized version. Let me know what you think, if it works for you or not, and what other things you are looking for in order for me to make a video on. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time with another one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Bye.